Have you been thinking about buying a sawmill? Well, here's five things you might take into consideration before you lay out the cash. First of all, do you have a place to set up that sawmill so it's out of the way, convenient to get to, and is not gonna disturb your neighbors? Second, do you have logs available? Have you thought about where you're gonna get the logs? Are you gonna pay money for them or are you gonna get them from a local tree service? Are they coming from an urban area where you might be getting nails and things like that that the sawmill is gonna cut through? Third, have you considered how you're gonna maneuver those logs? Some logs are gonna be pretty heavy when they get to be 12, 14, 16 feet long. You're not gonna be wanting to lift those up by hand. Fourth, what are you gonna do with that sawdust and the offcuts from the logs that aren't usable? You have to get rid of those things somewhere. And finally, where are you gonna store that lumber once you've cut it? Normally, you're gonna to have to dry that lumber for a period of time before it's usable. So think about these five things and consider them. And if you can answer them all in the positive, then go ahead and purchase that sawmill and have some fun making sawdust.